Good, hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. I am finally feeling a bit better from my cold. I hope you guys are all hanging in there health-wise. Although I did just go to the doctor today and get some x-rays done on my chest because I think I might have cracked a rib. I'm really hoping that it's just bruised, uh, but we'll see. There's not really much they can do about it anyway, so... Yay. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I actually have no idea why it's taken me this long to talk about this with you guys. So about eight months ago, I was partnered on Twitch and I know you guys have heard me talk about it a few times in videos and I talk about it a lot on my Twitter. And when I first started live streaming, a few of you guys asked me to make a video explaining why I chose Twitch, why I'm choosing to focus so heavily on a different platform other than YouTube, and also just in general, like what Twitch is and what people do on the website. So we'll cover that one first. Twitch is a website where you can live broadcast yourself doing a very wide variety of things. I've watched people write code. I've seen people build cosplays. I've watched a dog paint before. There's a social eating category. People obviously broadcast themselves playing video games. There is literally no end to what goes on there. So the short answer to why I started broadcasting on Twitch is because I've been doing YouTube for, is it gonna be eight years? Holy crap, I think it's gonna be eight years this May. And I've met some absolutely incredible people along the way. I'm still meeting incredible people through YouTube and I think it's a really powerful tool. After doing something for eight years and sort of feeling like the stuff that I'm doing is getting a little bit stale or like my audience is itching for something new and I can't give it to them. I decided to try to branch out into the live streaming format because I feel like it's a place that I've always been interested in and a place that I've always felt comfortable and really enjoyed myself. Like I used to broadcast on Ustream a really long time ago and it was always really fun, but I never did it consistently. And I broadcast a couple of times on you now, but I feel like for me as a person, I need a little bit more direction than that and Twitch sort of gave me that with the opportunity to stream myself playing video games. And I also feel like a lot of people think that my interest in gaming has come out of left field. And that's a little confusing to me because I've been playing video games basically since I could use a controller. It's a hobby of mine. And I had the whole drunk gaming series on this channel. For those of you guys who don't know, my brother and I have done many videos of us getting absolutely trashed and playing games and it's pretty fun. So. You can go and check that out, shameless self promo. But yeah, it's not really out of left field. It's a thing that I've always loved. It's a thing that I've always done with friends of mine. It's a thing that I've always enjoyed watching other people do. And after watching my brother and a few other really awesome people broadcast on Twitch, I decided that it was something I wanted to try. I really crave knowledge. I really enjoy learning new things. I really enjoy diving into fields that I don't really have much experience in and sort of figuring things out. And I gotta tell you, it's such a good feeling when you can like troubleshoot something on your own that's going wrong with a piece of technology. And I could really never do that before I built my own computer. So it's just really cool. There's been a whole like package of self-discovery and knowledge rolled up into this little ball that is Twitch. And I realized at the beginning of that, I said this was the short version of the story, but clearly it's become the long version. Brevity is not my strong suit. I feel like you guys probably know that by now. So that's pretty much the explanation for why I have put so much time into Twitch lately and why it has been a really important part of my life in the last few months. So if you guys are at all interested in coming and hanging out on Twitch stream, I usually broadcast Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we would absolutely love to see you. Everyone is so freaking nice in chat. Everyone is so cool. And like, I can't even believe that I get to hang out with these people every week. So please feel free to stop by a stream. Uh, if you've never been on Twitch, it's totally fine. If you have questions, it's totally fine. I promise you, no one is gonna make you feel bad about not knowing what's going on. Now moving on to the second part of this video, which is a fun announcement. I just found out a little while ago that Kentiki is doing this really amazing new initiative called The Travel Project. And they have a whole blog where people can go and submit different stories about travel and how it's changed their life. And I'm definitely gonna talk more about this when I go to Iceland. So I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to Iceland in the second week of March. I like, I can't even believe it's happening and I cannot believe I get to bring my cousin Kim. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm like beside myself. It hasn't even really sunken in yet that this is real life and that I'm going to one of my dream destinations in like two weeks. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos and I will see you guys next time.